Okay, so um, we're uh, discussing here uh, a variety of, um, of tools that uh, are provided by uh, regular expressions for matching patterns. We had noted that um, when we're using regular expressions in uh, tools such as, as uh, grep, such as um, uh, such as uh, common text editors, um, wide variety of text editors, variety of, of, of languages natively, uh, even wider variety of libraries, um, we um, we can match not only uh, literals, things like dog, but we have these set of special meta characters, these set of special as it were, almost keywords that, that specify for us um, uh, special semantics associated with our, um, our, our so-called regular expression so that it can match a very rich series of patterns. And by building up combinations of literals with these meta characters, we can match more and more rich um, uh, expressions. Now, um, we had uh, earlier seen cases where we were using so-called anchors to match things that occurred at the beginning of a line or at the end of a line. Cases where the word dog, for example, begins at the beginning of a line. Other cases where it's at the end of a line. Well, it turns out that we can do that at the, at the word boundary level as well. So we can match situations, for example, within Linux.words, where dog isn't necessarily at the beginning of a line, but it's at the beginning of a, of a word within that line. So, for example, um, we, we instead of having a, for example, that exponentiation operator, we have backslash that sign. Um, and uh, here, here we're saying, okay, um, look for all cases where dog appears at the beginning of a word. There may be other things on the line before that, but but uh, there's there's some sort of break in the in the word that we don't have just characters before dog, okay? Um, so it needs to be something before dog, which is, is not a letter, it's not a digit, and it's not an underbar, okay? Um, so here's a case where dog is the beginning of a word. Here's another case where it's the beginning of a word, etc. cetera. Um, because what's before it is not a letter, it's not a digit, it's not an underbar, it's a, it's a dash. Okay, um, so we can also look at things where we're looking for cat at the the end of a end of a word. So if we just look at the first five, then we get something like this. But if we kind of look for things somewhere in the you know, additional ones, which involve additional uh, elements, we'll see it's also matching things that like cat a mountain, uh, a phrase of uncertain semantics to me. But uh, we do see cat here is. It, at the end of a, of a word here. Now notice there's there's something a little bit confusing here because we actually have talked about how the quoting character before is a prevent special interpretations of other characters. But here it's a sort of uh, uh, escape character. It's, it's actually telling it like it's see, hey, I could see, you know, interpret this, um, this uh, less than sign specially. So I hate to say it, but it could be used turn uh, a special character into regular character, or what would be a regular character, a, a less than sign, um, into a special character here. Um, something that's it's actually not indicating character, it's indicating special semantics, you know, that this needs to be at the beginning of a word, okay? Um, okay, so that's uh, matching word boundaries, and you could think of it as kind of a variant of the anchors thing, where anchors work at the level of granularity of, of lines. Um, of course, you could be at the beginning of the line or end of the line. Um, and, you know, if it's, uh, it's exponentiation followed by something, it forces that following thing to be the beginning of the line. If it's followed by a dollar sign, it forces the preceding thing to be at the end of the line. It's very, very similar for the matching word boundaries. Here, dog has to be at the beginning following thing, namely the dog has to be at the beginning of the word, and here the preceding thing has to be at the end of a word. Okay? So that's matching word boundaries like matching anchors uh, for, for